Hey everybody, this is Sherry, and this video is all about how to enhance your die cuts. I'm going to use two different cottage cuts dies for this video. This first one is called Peking Santa, and what I'm doing there is I cut the entire die, the entire piece out of white, everything out of white. And then I'm just taking my Copic markers and I'm coloring it the way that I want. That way I can give the shadows and the highlights and, and get it so that it looks more dimensional. Because remember, if we want something round, it is, it's got to be darker on the edges and lighter in the center. And then it appears to have more depth. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here with the little face and... I don't I really didn't need to collar quite so much because a lot of it's covered up with the hat and the beard but oh wow it was fun doing it anyways that's a little tough holding on to those tiny little pieces though so here we go we're just gonna put some black glaze in his eyes and you gotta be careful when you use that give it a chance to dry because if you don't you can smear it and then there's I'm um, chalking his cheeks and Santa's gonna have nice rosy cheeks and then I'm coloring in my little ivy there with G5 and G7. And I don't have to do as much because this piece is tiny. And the majority of the face is covered up. But you'll see when I start doing the colored pieces, as in like Santa's hat and things, I make sure that I ink the edges. Because with using white paper, it's going to give me a white core. And that takes away and detracts so much from my die cuts that, you know, I try to make sure that I go ahead and uh, ink the edges. Now, I was really tickled with how this mustache came out. I, it honestly looks like it's, you know, dipped and moved and dipped in in the center and, and brought up on the ends. I was like, cool. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really felt like I accomplished that before. But I did with Santa's mustache. And I'm just going over it with my colorless blender to, you know, to um, get out any harsh lines and just soften the entire coloring, colored area. And these are the, the whites on, or the fur on Santa's jacket. And again, just doing my shadows on the ends and keeping the light center. And it, this was a real quick coloring job. It doesn't take long to do these dyes. I mean, because the dyes itself provide all the detail. All you have to do is, you know, lay in your shadows. And the hardest part was trying to hold on to these tiny little pieces. And I honestly cannot think of a way that you could do it and have them come out right without um, cutting them first. And, you know, it's not like where you could watercolor and then cut it out and you're happy with what whatever lands where. This, it needs to land in specific spots. So it is a little hard to hold on to, but it's worth it in the end. And here I am again where Santa's ears would come. There would be more of a shadow there. So I'm putting that in and then softening it up with my colorless blender and then going around all the edges and just making Santa's beard appear more circular or more round and taking my time here, which you, you know, this is, this is sped up like four times. That shows you how slow I go. <laughs> I am the world's slowest colorer and but I just get ready and finish that up and then we're going to get ready here in a second to move on to the red pieces and with the red pieces I use R24, 27 and 29 and I do go over the little berries with two different colors I did 27 and 29 but there's not much left of that that isn't covered in red but I still go ahead and try to go around the edge as best I can and when you do something like this, make sure that you wipe off your work area because if you don't, you're going to transfer those colors to some of your other images. And you don't want to do that because you don't want to get there and then realize that, you know, Santa's suit has somehow got mixed in with gray or green. 
and here I am I'm just inking this the sides of the image and you'll be able to tell here pretty soon that those are Santa's gloves and with just a little bit of ink it gives it a lot dimension defines the thumb makes it stand out a little better but I do I go to lay in the shadows from where the the fluff is on Santa's suit and I don't know why I did it I mean there's essentially no room there once you put the little cuffs and Santa's beard but I go ahead and do it and then end up not putting it in the right place and cover it up anyways with the um, the white fur so I mean if you're going to do this with yours just you know try to be better at it than I was is checking to checking where you know your shadows are going to land on your piece because I didn't do very good in this instance and just wiping off my um, table and going over the edges now I don't think this is hard on your Copics I've not noticed any problem with mine but just to be on the safe side I always use the top of the nib and not down near the tip and I've that seems to be I've not noticed any problems and if I do see that it is starting to bother or fray my my tip I will make sure that I do another video letting you all know but as of now I'm not having any trouble at all with using the Copics to go around the edge of my pieces and just finishing up the hat here and laying in the rest of the shadows and kind of going up there see I love that how it went where it would fold over it would be darker there and I really love how it turned out and I was just tickled to death and he's so cute <laughs> you just want to squeeze saying he's so cute and there I am trying to go around the little teeny weeny 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 berries but you know give it a shot now I'm not going to show you the projects in here because this is more about how to enhance your die cuts and not necessarily you know the project of you know where what I make with the die cuts but you do there is a brief second where you see and I don't know how it got left in there but it did um, what that Santa comes out of a little green pocket and that is an MFT die but they don't have that one anymore I don't know if they make another one or not but that's the one I have and if you have a Cricut or Silhouette you could easily cut one out putting on his little beard here and made sure his cheeks are nice and rosy and you know if you wanted to you could even um, put a little bit of dimension or dimensional underneath his mustache and you know that would pop him out and make his face stand out a little farther and this one I just I want part of the hat in the back and part in the front so it takes me a second or two to figure out which way I want it to go but I get it there and I love that on this one the um, the ball for Santa's hat goes underneath that red piece so it completely separates it and it really makes that tip stand out and I like that I like that a lot and I probably could have went in with my W's again and brought out and put a shadow underneath that piece I didn't think of that until just now and gluing my little hat on there and I had the the image that the, that the die comes with I had it laying beside me as I was doing this so because I, I was trying to make it as close to what the die was made for as possible and so I'm just putting the the fur on Santa's jacket and see I didn't do there's no reason to add those shadows I don't know why I did it and putting his little head on there and he is just about finished guys he is so cute and going ahead and using my art glitter glue to put on my holly leaves and my berries and I am going to be done. I show here in a second the green. Oh, it comes with a bell too, which you can replace the ball on the hat if you wanted to with it, but I didn't use it. And there was the little pocket. Now here I'm going to use the peeking bear 
die from cottage cuts. And this also is a um, Dynamics die that is, um, it's old. I, I've had it for a long time and they don't make it anymore. But any tag you have will work. And this one comes with an outline. So I used some of my Memento inks to, you know, put the little dots around the edge of the tag. And there I'm trying to figure out which to and from I want to use because there's two sizes in that set. So I really love that set. And uh, I decide to go with the smallest ones. And then I take my cottage cuts, or my cottage cuts, my cottage ivy <laughs> Memento ink for the green writing. And I use the Memento Love Letter ink for the red. And so I just go ahead and put that on and then set it aside. And now I'm going to ink up my bear. Now on this one, I cut it everything out in different colors. And to make things look more dimensional, I'm inking the edges. Now, remember what we said. If we want something to look round, we want the edges to be darker and lighter in the center. So by inking your piece, you're making the edges darker. And what I use there for the ears and Santa for the Santa bear itself I used walnut stain and then for his little um, ear pieces that you're gonna see here in a minute let's just let's just give me a second to catch up huh? <laughs> there's a the walnut stain now I'm getting out the ground espresso and I cut the ears out of the brown but I and I didn't want them the same color so it was just as easy to use my distress inks to darken it up and make it a completely different color. Just make sure you clean up well because if you don't, you're going to end up smearing brown ink on something you do not want brown. And I, um, I'm getting here, <laughs> I'm getting ready to ink the, the white and I'm using pumice stone and I'm actually inking what should be the red portion of the hat and I was so I was like really I spent time inking that stupid thing I just wasn't paying attention I do not need that white piece and you'll see here in a few seconds I realize what I've done and I yank it out of there there you go because the red piece for Santa's hat is laying right up there at the top corner and we're just going to do his nose now his nose I use black soot and because it was so small I just kind of had to like use the corner of the ink pad to get it turned the way I want <coughs> but again I could have just as easily used black cardstock but it worked out so much easier to be able to use your inks to do that now here we're going to start putting everything together and we're going to put the the fluffy white on Santa's hat attach it and we're going to attach the little fluff ball there now this one doesn't ta attach on the underside of the red this one's a little different and I think if I wanted to I might be able to switch them around and use different ones here I'm just sticking in uh, the little inside of the ears with my art glitter glue and getting ready to attach my nose and at the end of the video, guys, there's some pictures of the project so you can see how it all looks finished up. And one day when I do, um, next month when I do my tag series, I will show you how they all turned out as well. Whoops, dropped it right in the glue. But it's all right. It all turns out in the end. And just get that on and attached all nice and uh, snug. And I'm using my Cottage Ivy Memento ink again to just ink up my little leaves. And this stuff was tiny, guys. It was so tiny. And I'm going to use get my tag ready and see where I need to put my head and my little bear paw so I make sure I get them on right. Putting in my black glaze pen and being very careful because I don't want to smear them up at all using my glue again I love that art glitter glue guys attaching it on and it, that um, I was a little concerned about attaching that uh, glitter paper that art glitter glue it grabs on and it hangs on and it ain't going nowhere 
So I'm just going ahead and putting his head and his paws on. And that'll be it, guys. I hope that you like this video. I hope that it was helpful. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Bye.